El Kentucky Barber here, and we are back for the 19th episode in my Goldcrest Valley FS17 Let's Play series. So in the last episode, uh, we went ahead and planted these three fields over here. Um, let's see, that is field... There we go. Uh, field 15, 14, and 12. And, uh, so I also kind of talked about, um, checking out the pigs. So while I was, uh, <laughs> letting my voice rest there and helping my coughing finally went away, um, I went over and checked out the pigs and then I actually also went up, let me open up this page here, um, went up and did the missions on fields two and three and those were you know harvest fertilize plow cultivate seed fertilize so it was a good chunk of missions on both of these fields um got a little bit of cash and i actually have full reputation with those farmers up there now uh so the pigs are up here right so this is our main farm and the pigs you go up this little trail through the woods and they're right up here um one of the reasons why I wanted to buy Field 11 was because I, I kind of wish this game had the feature of like, if you want to do sheep, you want to do pigs, you want to do cows, you want to do the BGA, like you should have to buy that facility, right? Like I feel like you should have to go and buy the cow facility if you want to do cows. Um, short of that, what I tend to do is like, well, I want to do sheep, so I want to, I'll have to own the fields around the sheep right so you know with the cows in order to do cows I feel like I would have to own maybe like field 27 and 28 um, with the BGA I kind of was like well maybe like field 2 and field 7 or something like that with the pigs it's kind of tough because like you can literally take this little dirt road out of the back of the farm and you're right there at the pigs so I'm actually not opposed to going and getting some pigs and buying some pig food and let's just get started on them right um it'll give us something to do so i think in this episode that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna go get some pigs we're gonna get some pig food and we're gonna go drop them off up there and get started on that and then uh um i'm gonna go do the missions on field 11 and see how close we get to then being able to do sheep so yeah, let's get started with that. Uh, one other thing I forgot to do, I, I told myself every day we should go over here and do this. Let's go pick up eggs from our chickens. FS7 or FS15, they used to have this mod. Actually, I think they even had it in 13. Uh, it was like a placeable chicken coop, and you could. Um, I gotta turn down my volume. These chickens are really loud. There you go. Um, it was this placeable chicken coop, and like all of the eggs that they laid, they laid in the coop, and then. You just had to like walk in there and pick them up out of the boxes once a day instead of having to like go on a treasure hunt out here in this little field. Alright, I think I got them all. Now the real question is how many eggs am I going to have on hand before I remember that I should go somewhere and sell them? I don't even know what I'm up to. Uh, in theory, that's over here on one of these screens. Eggs in coop one. Ah, eggs in backpack forty-two. Okay, so that's not too bad. <clears throat> All right. Well, so to do pigs, um, I'm gonna take this down to the shop and get the Brantner trailer 
Uh, my thinking behind that is I have tried to pull <laughs> that trailer with this little truck and actually the the big pickup truck is barely capable of pulling that uh, livestock trailer so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a tractor to pull it um, moments like these make me wish I had one of the JCB fast tracks but that's all right eventually I, I'm gonna get a semi and you know because I'll use the semi to pull one of the big grain trailers and I'll uh, I'll get the livestock trailer that goes behind the semi but it seemed a little much to be buying a semi at this point in the game so we'll just make do with this for now all right so we're really gonna need uh, three things here right we're gonna need the water trailer we're gonna need the Betamax and we're gonna need a primer Um, I mean, in theory, I could go without the primer for a little while because I could, um, you know, you just get a, like a certain percentage boost by having the straw. I don't think you have to, I don't think you have to have the straw. Uh, the other interesting thing is this says it only takes straw bales. I was kind of hoping I could, like back this thing underneath one of the um, the hay loft or straw loft and just have it dump straw in it because uh, I really don't want to make bales um, but and I don't know if you can do like in FS15 you could just take a loading wagon and just back the loading wagon up to the tip point and just unload into it uh, I don't know if that's still the case so I think I'm just going to start with, I know i got to give them water, so I'm just going to start with the water trailer and the livestock trailer. And then uh, we'll see what that gets us and then get the, um, we'll get the primer later. Uh, and then in theory I need pig food, so... Alright, that should be some. Okay. Um, there is another little trick that we could do here. So, <clears throat> what, what a, I think what they want you to do is to take all of these and use the forks, which of course I didn't bring. <laughs> um, load them on a trailer, drive them over there, unload them, and then dump them in the thing. What you can also do, because they included the whole tip anywhere feature, you can basically take a trailer, like a... like this thing, right? This little Brantner. And you can... because you see it takes pig food, right? So you can just buy one of these, dump the pig food into it, and then just drive it over there and dump it from the trailer into the thing. So, let's see here. I may have bought too many. Um, these hold a thousand each, and I bought, what, ten of them? Yeah, so I've got 10,000. I only wanted to buy eight. Um, that's all right. And I can get five more and fill this thing up. Oh, 
Oh yeah, what the heck. Ooh, wide tires. Why not? Okay. And then I said, what, five more? Alright, that should be... Yeah, five more. Okay. So, I think what I'll do is I'll grab the water trailer. And I will take the water trailer over, fill it up, fill up the... Well, I can't fill up the pig water until I have pigs over there. But, uh, grab the water trailer, take it over to the pig area. And then on the way back, I will grab my loader arms and forks. And then we'll fill up that trailer. And take it over there. And then we'll get the Betamax and go get the pigs. Oh shoot, here's the other thing I forgot. Um, when you fill this thing up with water at a fountain, you have to pay for it. But, if I take this over here, uh, it should be up here on the left, there's actually a place where I can back down into the creek and I can fill it up with creek water for free. So if you look off onto the right here on this map, it looks like a little beach next to the creek over here. Yeah. So I should be able to come right in here. So you gotta be careful like where you do this because there's relatively steep banks on these creeks. So there's only a couple spots where you could probably get away with this. I figured this beach would be a good candidate. Wow, this thing's heavy. This tractor's having a hard time with it. Yeah, see like here you'd never be able to back down that cliff. I'll have to do some uh, exploring and see what is the closest place to the pigs to get free water. Uh, let's see, I think I gotta keep going this way. I'm gonna pass this guy. This trough here is water, but oh, you can't unload it. There you go. It's not much because it's enough to feed the animals for six days when you don't have any animals. So I don't know exactly how it does that math, but whatever. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of pull this off to the side. We'll leave it there. And now I gotta go back to the farm and grab my loader arms and forks. 
So yeah, see there's this fountain up here. This is the closest fountain to the pigs. But you have to pay for that water. So... Yeah, I mean, maybe I could go through, um, like, between field 13 and 9. Looks like there's a beach over there. That's probably the closest spot where I can get to the water. And then, let's look for the sheep. Yeah, I'm not too sure for the sheep. It's, you know, it's right there, but I remember when we were over there earlier, I mean, those are some steep cliffs coming off there. to the shop. Alright. So I think I'm going to move the trailer a little bit. this matters. Let me... Uh, I don't want to do that. Let me open the cover on it. Keep hitting that one pallet. Um, Alright. There we go. <laughs> that actually didn't look too bad. This is kind of funny. Um, so I actually, at one point in time, used to work on a pig farm. And, uh... We would never go through this much work to feed the pigs. We had, um, you know, the farm I was at was um, pretty kind of like corporate scale pig farm, but um, you know, they grew all their own grain that they then milled on site to make their own pig food. And, uh, Um, but even in like smaller operations, you just call up the local feed store and you're like, hey, I need 10,000 pounds of pig feed and they come with a big truck and they just fill your pig feeder for you. Like, I think the only people that buy pig food 
in a bag, and normally it's like a 50 pound bag, not it's a pallet bag like these, would be like some kid who's raising a pig for like the FFA and is gonna show it in the fair or something, like. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's kind of, it goes back to what I was saying in the last episode with the seeds, right? Like, that doesn't happen. Like, you don't, I get that these are, these seed pallets are real things, right? Like, this is a popular way to buy and transport bulk goods, but, like, if you are a professional farmer farming a large amount of land, like, you get the seed in such large quantities that it's not going to be you're not going to be screwing around with pallets of stuff like this the other thing that's a little bit funny is that like so okay <laughs> two things while I'm at it um <laughs> any machinery dealer on the face of the earth if you're going to buy a 200 something thousand dollar tractor from them or even a you know $10,000 cultivator if you're going to buy a piece of equipment from them and you go you know what eh, I kind of want this but uh, I'm not going to buy it unless you deliver it to my farm Every machinery dealer on the face of the earth will be like, yeah, we'll give you free delivery on that if you buy it from us. Like, so in the last version, when you reset something that you bought at the dealer, it would reset back to your farm. And that was kind of the, like, the joke, right? Was that you buy a piece of equipment, you get free delivery. It delivers it to your farm. And that's, you know extremely common in real life that you buy especially a new piece of equipment from a dealership they will deliver it for free um, the other thing is if you were buying like if I showed up here with a trailer and I was buying these pallets right they wouldn't make me come with my own forklift right they have forklifts they have loaders. So it's like they need um they need a skid loader with forks on it that they just kind of park out here and then have it be like when you're doing the missions, right? If you drive too far away, it's like you've got 9 seconds to return that piece of equipment and just have the thing like live within you know like within this parking lot basically and if you take it out of the parking lot within 10 seconds it resets it or something and have that be the the dealer's uh, loader Looks like we're almost there. I must say the, um, the physics for having the pallet actually slide down the forks seems better than it was before. That was always kind of a complaint of mine when you'd see, you know, if I had my forks at that steep of an angle with a pallet on the end and it was just hanging on at the tips, like, that was pretty common in the previous version and you don't really see that here.
see, like, I can get it right. Actually, that was pretty good. Uh, if I get it right here, right, and I pull it up, it'll actually slide down the forks. Alright, last one. So we should be full up now. Ninety nine percent. Nice. I got chipped out of one liter of pig food somehow. I must have spilt it on the ground. Alright, well I'm gonna take this over to the pig farm and then come back and get the brand new trailer. Alright. Wow. So we already dumped half of the pig food in there. Um, <laughs> Time to go get some pigs. Oh! Wow, that's interesting. Um. Hmm. I was trying to look at the map to see if I needed to take this turn or not and totally smacked into that lamppost. So... I guess I'm just gonna have to reset this. I mean I could go get another piece of equipment and try and push it over but... Ugh, whatever. I was going over to the uh, machine shop anyways so... I guess it's fine that it's going to reset it over there. Alright. Alright, now I'll go get some pigs. Um, pigs are down bottom right at Mary's farm all the livestock's down there so we'll just take the main highway all the way to that last dirt road and then turn off there alright uh, let's buy some animals so I can hold nine pigs in this in the Betamax Let's go for nine. Twenty-seven thousand dollars. All right, confirm. All right, let's take these little dudes back. All right, now I gotta just drop these guys off. I think we kind of just back into this thing here. Better than that. All right, and then we unload. Okay. Cool. There's our pigs. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that all nine of them? Guess so. <coughs> hmm. Uh, so one of the other things I'm going to need too is the bucket for my front loader because. The pigs are messy, so they 
throw food on the ground as they eat it, and I gotta scoop it up and dump it back in there. Uh, but that's like fourteen hundred dollars, so that's no big deal. Um, all right, I guess for now I'm just gonna go park this trailer. I don't know. I'm gonna go stick this trailer at my main farm because the next time I need it will probably be to go get sheep. I don't want to come up here and get it. All right, so I got that trailer put away. We should be good with the forks for now. And I'm going to leave the arms on here just as a reminder that one of the next things I need to do is go get the bucket for this. Alright, so let's check this out here. I haven't really gotten to look at the uh, animal tab. Well, for starters, let's go look at the finance tab for a second. So, yesterday we had $3,286 of vehicle running costs, and we had 4320 of property income. So we're still making fair chunk of property income. Um, today is probably going to get, um, as far as vehicle running costs, we'll probably get even closer to 4000 um, just from uh, some of the equipment that we bought just now. But also, yesterday would have only been like the mowers and the tether and stuff would have only been for like the last part of the day. Um, I will have to pay expenses on them the whole day today, I think. And then probably also have a little bit of, um, somewhere in here there's like a livestock cost. Animal upkeep, yeah. So we'll have animal upkeep tomorrow probably, which we also need property income to kind of offset the animal upkeep, I think. So, yeah, we're doing okay on that for now, but eventually we probably will need to come up with uh, something else for passive income. Uh, but then, here, looking at our animal tag, we're at 90% productivity, which I'm okay with, because we don't have straw. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess we could try Let me... I'm gonna grab the the tractor, and then I'm gonna go get the loading wagon, and I'm gonna try filling up the loading wagon here at my straw storage and see if I can just dump it in, or if I really do need that. Um, is it the primer? struggle here. But it didn't fill it all the way up. Alright. Nice. Don't have to go get that primer. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, yeah. 
So we've got... I think this just hasn't gone up yet because it takes a little bit of time to register that it's got everything. But, um, yeah, we've got full green bars there. So, in theory, our reproduction rate is wow, 17 hours and 46 minutes, I guess is what that means, yeah. And so, we still got 17 and a half hours before the next animal will show up. So that's going to take a little while, but of course the more you get, the less time it takes, right? So, um, and so if all the food and water and everything we've got over there will last us six days, of course that's six days at nine pigs, I guess. Um, so, you know, in theory, as we get, as we progress over the next six days, we could be adding, you know, basically 12 more pigs. So, you know, by the time we get to day four, what is currently enough food for six days may not actually be enough anymore. So, um, I imagine we've got probably, uh, maybe eight days worth of seven, seven, eight days worth of, uh, food over there before we actually have to start worrying about, you know, are we going to go just go buy more food or will we be close enough seven to eight game days from now that we can start doing, um, making our own food, which I mean of everything on that list, right? Corn is no problem. Straw, obviously no problem. Wheat and barley, not an issue. Canola, sunflower, soybeans, not an issue. Potatoes and sugar beets, that's going to be the tough one. So we're going to have to do... we have to drop a little bit of money to be able to get into that part of it. So, And then, I, I don't know how that works. Like, if I don't give them that part of the food, will they still be like 90% productive because they've got everything but that piece or I don't really know how that's going to impact their productivity but we'll find out so alright well that took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to so I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here and then like I said earlier in the next episode we will go um uh, there we go. We'll go to field 11. We'll do all the missions. And then hopefully that might put us at the point where we can then buy field 11. Uh, and then once we buy field 11, I'll probably go buy some sheep. And then I'll just have to scrounge up a little bit of cut grass from wherever I can to feed them for, uh, you know, a few days until we can then plant grass on field 11. Because, um,. You know, when we go to do the next round of missions for Field 11, right, they're going to want us to plant, you know, some crop. So I'll have to wait until that crop is done growing and then harvest it, and then I can plant grass over there. So just like we're doing with, you know, 10, 17, and 18. So, all right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That really helps a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. Uh, I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.